Hey everybody, so in today's vlog, we're gonna be giving you a little tour of the farmhouse and showing you what we've accomplished around the property the last couple weeks. I'm also gonna be giving you a little rundown of what our plan is for the house. Um, and then in a later video, we'll be answering whatever questions you guys have about our remodel and about the property. So if you have any questions, leave them in a comment below. And I hope you enjoy. Do you love dad? Yeah. Yeah. That's sweet, babe. Oh, I almost fell down. You almost fell down here. I'll help you. There you go. Hey, can you sing dad your song? No. Why? You sang it for me. No. Slash mud room. In the dining room. And the living area. And then through here we have two bedrooms. <laughs> so this will be one of the boys' rooms. Um, <laughs> the grandma who lived here before just needed something to help her get out of bed. So. That's not a stripper pole. <laughs> Closet. This can't even open all the way because of this. Not sure why they did it like that, but. Oh. So, all of this is definitely coming out. And then this is the other bedroom. This one's not too bad. And a little bit of sheet rocking stuff to fix. Apparently these are staying, so I'm real thrilled about that. And then through here is the oh, master suite sort of area, so. Oh my word. It still smells really bad in here, but it's a lot better than it was. They basically let their cats use this as like a litter box. So, but that's the gun safe that's staying. So Kyle's pumped about that. This is gonna be the little area where I have a little 
bit of an office since we have one less bedroom in this house. I'm just gonna put a desk and my computer right here. But, oh man, it is just, man, really gross. Okay, and then there's a closet over here. That needs quite a bit of work as well. Okay. The light doesn't work, but you probably don't want to see anyway. So, if you walk through here, you're back to the little mudroom slash laundry room. Pretty much it. The people finally moved out last weekend, the weekend after Thanksgiving. And so we got to finally come in, see the house pretty much empty, start taking measurements for everything. Um, my mom has drawn up a couple of plans for kitchens. So we're excited about that. All right, so currently we have like a U-shaped layout. Um, I think the plan is to move these things over here and then have the fridge here so that this wall can be torn down and we'll put a peninsula type bar here so that it kind of comes into the dining room um, so that I have a little bit more counter space in the kitchen. So that's the plan there and then this wall here I think we're going to have to put a beam there for support, but we're gonna just kind of cut out in the middle so that you can see into the kitchen, but it's not like um, the wall's not totally gone. There's a little bit of foundation stuff to fix. Bathrooms are pretty much gutted and redone, um, but we're not gonna do, you know, everything because hopefully we're not gonna live in this house more than five years, I think is the plan. Is, is it gonna be fixed though? Yeah, I gotta get another bottle jack and then. So you can see where they like had tried cribbing it uh -huh. already and right there. So it just settled in the dirt. Okay. So see what how about. See the floor goes up right here? Mm hmm. It like is right low right there. Mm -hmm. By the way, that's black mold. <gasps> Okay, so the floor for sure has to come all yeah, the way out. The floor has to come up. So, see how the floor there? Uh huh. That I already jacked this up. Okay. This beam's already been jacked up. I'm not gonna jack this up, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna jack it all up again. But okay. So we can't salvage the original floor. No. Yeah. I mean, Bad. no, not to be able to fix the foundation the way that it is. Yeah. She's my. She keeps me Does she? Are you a go baby? Are you a go baby? That tree's coming out. Both those trees are coming out. Yeah. And it'll be nice when this is cleared up. Yeah. And like these are kind of thinned out and all that bamboo needs to be gone. Yeah. Need to buy a tree saw. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you coming with me?
<laughs> yeah, that okay, looks really so good. You like that one better than the plane with no I like no angle. angle. Hey everybody, so it's currently I don't even know what day it is. It's Friday and we, our goal is to be out of the house completely by Saturday so that I can come back Sunday afternoon, get everything clean, the floors mopped, bathrooms totally clean, everything like that um, because we have to totally be out by Monday. So that's the goal. We're pretty much, all the small things are pretty much packed. You won't think so looking at this clip I just filmed before this, but we're really pretty close. Um, Kyle's been sick this week. So I've been doing a lot of it while he tries to get better, but he and I took several loads of stuff out to the shop yesterday, so that was nice. We got quite a bit out there. So tomorrow is Saturday, obviously, and we've got a couple people coming to help us move the big things, and then we should be pretty much done because we don't have a whole lot of time left. So it's crazy. Can't believe it's happening, but there we go. Keep it going. Okay, Isaac, go. You'll mm, be my let's go. I just turned. Screen so you can see what you're filming. Yeah. Open up. Well, I just turned it towards you. There you go. See? Oh, that's so much. Oh, I look good. <laughs> <laughs> I was using the tractor. No, no counterweight on the back. You know, just picking up, picked up a massive load of dirt. Ever turn it towards and the road? <laughs> what? See, there's the road. But no. Yeah, so I was using it, no, yeah. and I pick a big load of dirt, and I could tell that it's kind of tippy when I'm driving. So I drive it around, and then I raise the bucket to dump it, and then the tractor just done starts to tip. Done starts to tip. <laughs> <laughs> so, tractor done starts to tip, okay? So I slam the brakes so it stops moving. Yes, then I'm probably at like a 45 degree angle, you know? Like, like about like this, okay? So I was like freaking out. Okay, the radio is blaring. I don't know what to do. So then I just like tell myself to calm down, get it under control. Okay, so I lower the bucket down. Okay, which lowers the center of gravity. Okay, and then the tractor, like the front wheel articulates, so it can't tip all the way, which is good because scared of that. 
So then I just lowered it down and everything was fine. Wow, wow. And I dumped out probably like literally a tiny bit of dirt. Literally and then it was tiny. fine. And then I dumped the rest and continued to make my track. Yeah. I'm true gonna do true when story. I'm true story. <laughs> when I'm editing, I'm gonna do the sparkles. Story time with Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> my, I was going down a hill on my bike. Yeah. My front wheel came off and I smashed my face down. On this oh, bike. I remember that. Yeah, you like slammed your face into the ground. Oh, yeah. Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> Just cool story, Jackson. Cool story. Just gonna go see what we got in store here. Here's the trailer. It's very full of stuff into their so-called farm. They go in the house and dude it looks like all empty. There's our father. Right, We're making a vlog. Let's see if there's more that's I think you should be helping with that. I am. Let's go see what there is to Kermit to set you down. We're gonna do a time lapse now of the of the house. So I'm gonna ask Glenn how to set up time lapse on her camera. Jackson, word. would you like to do that again for that the camera? Was so, he, he was literally standing right next to yeah. that. That's gonna blow yeah, so, the audio. Yeah. Oh, that was nasty. Oh, that my... no, oh, that looks very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Well, that's it for this video, and we will see you next week.